Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these charming seed beads earrings. I'm showing them really easy and step by step so I'm sure you're going to be able to make them by yourself. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell. In this way you will be inspired often because I post videos two or three times a week. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough for this. You could check description for full list of materials, other useful resources, my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. And you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could also check out in description. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are four colors of 11 o seed beads. I use black, turquoise, yellow and red. I here also use earring findings. This is Nymon Island thread, which is size D. The thickness is 0.3 millimeters. The color is creamy. Here I use size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up four of these beautiful black beads. Okay, and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I make it by make a loop and go twice through the loop I've made. And then make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. In my next step, I'm going through the following bead after my knot. Okay, now I have this beautiful cross of four beads or also called right angle weave. And what I want to take here is a yellow bead and I go in the next black one. Just like this another yellow, go in the following black, and I repeat this from the four sides. Then what I want to do is go through one of the yellows, take turquoise, red turquoise, go in the next yellow, the same sequence. And do this two more times. Okay, now I have this. In my next step, I'm going through one of the turquoise beads and I take yellow, red, yellow and I go backwards through the turquoise that I've been exiting out of. Now you see I have something like a loop between this turquoise and these three beads that I'm adding and I pull. Then I go through the red and I'm aiming for my next turquoise bead. Yellow, red, yellow. Go back through the turquoise. And go in the next turquoise. Again, yellow, red, yellow. 
go back. I also go through the following seed bead. In this way I save time and one movement, okay? Now I'm aiming for this turquoise. And I'm going to continue these guys until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I have this. In my next step, what I want to do is go through some beads in this direction and I will be adding black beads at four places. The first one is here after this yellow. You see how here I have a gap between my beads? and I'll fill it up with a black one. Okay, I'm going here in this direction, but here I don't have a gap, they're touching, so I'm going directly through the yellows. In my next step here, you see how I have a gap. It is a small gap, but still I have it. And I add one black bead. Okay, here they are touching and I don't have a gap, so I directly go through the yellows. Then here I have a small gap that I want to fill with black bead. I want to fill in with black bead. Now here I don't add anything. And here at this place, I will add one more black. And by the way, this is not obligatory step, but I just like to do this. Okay, then I go through this red one here. And here I take three reds, one yellow, three reds. And I go in the following red. Then again, three reds, one yellow, three reds go in the following red. Three reds, one yellow, three reds. And again, go in the following red one. Okay, and I'm going to continue doing this and I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I add three reds, one yellow, three reds. I go here in the very first red one that I started my row from. Okay, now I have this. In my next step, what I want to do is go through these three red beads and I pull. I also want to exit through the yellow one. Take three turquoise beads and go back through this yellow. In my next step, I go through two red beads. one turquoise and go through these two red beads which are just before the yellow one at the top okay now i have this 
then go in the yellow three turquoise beads go back through the yellow go through two beads in this direction two red beads and now I am one red bead away from the angle take one turquoise and you could flip like this and go here through these two red beads yellow three turquoise go back backwards through two one again through two yellow and I will continue these guys until the end and I'll meet you here at the last step and here I am guys where I'm adding my last turquoise bead from this row and what I want to do is to reach the next turquoise now I'm going to take two turquoise beads and I go in the following turquoise in this way I'm filling this gap here go through the next two turquoise beads and take two go through the one in the at the angle to fill in the gap two turquoise go here Two turquoise go here again and this row is really easy and really pleasant you just fill in the gaps between the turquoise beads by adding two beads a really pleasant row okay and I will continue this and meet you here at the end okay guys and here I am where I'm just adding my last two beads from this row and I want to exit here at this bead that is sticking out and I will continue with my next row which will be yellow so I take three beads like I did before and I go here at the top then again I go through two in this direction one yellow go through these two turquoise and go here at the top three yellows go through these three one yellow and go at the top three yellows go back go through two beads take just one yellow and go through these two and exit here at the top okay and this is what i'm gonna be doing until the end of this row just repeat these steps from here and meet me okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last yellow bead from this row now what i want to do is go in this direction 
and exit through this yellow here. And by the way, if you like your element like this, you could stop up to here at earring finding and it will be okay. But now what I want to do is to put two yellow beads and go like this. Then again two more yellows. go like this two yellows and I'm gonna be filling the gaps like I did before with two yellows everywhere and when I'm ready I'll meet you here okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last two yellow beads from this row and what I want to do next is go through these four beads and exit here at the top. What I need to add next are three black beads. Go back like this. In this step I will go through three yellow beads and I will add my black here closer to the inner edge than I was before in my previous rows. Now I take three, go back like this. And here the difference is that I go through three beads, not through two. After that I add the angle bead. Then again I go through three beads. And I go here at the angle and add three go back like this and again pay attention that this time I go through three beads I add one and I go through three or even through four if you can to exit at the top okay and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last black bead from this row. Now I want to reach this black bead. Okay, I take three black beads, this time three, and I go through this tree here at the angle tree again go at the angle tree go here And this is what I'm going to be doing until the end of this row. I'm just going to fill in the gaps with three beads and when I'm ready I'll meet you here. Okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And now what I want to do is to attach my earring finding. And I want to attach it here. Why? Because uh, maybe you've noticed that here I have four narrower loops of beads and four wider loops of beads and I want to attach it here where the narrow loop of beads is and how I do this I go through all of those beads And I exit here at the top. I take one seed bead, my earring finding and one black seed bead. And I go back like this. 
I reinforce. And after I reinforce, I go here at the angle and I want to make a knot. And how I do this, I make here a loop and I go once, then I go second time through this loop I've made and I pull. And then I go through the following seed bead. And I cut my thread as close as possible to my work. Okay guys, and now my charming seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe with the bell if you still haven't. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I th can't thank you enough guys for this. Check description for full list of materials, other useful resources, a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. And a lot of work goes in this video, so you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could also check in description. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.